Perry's Jared Poling has been playing competitive basketball since the first grade. The senior says basketball is the biggest part of his life right now, and he can't get enough of it. Well, that has certainly showed on the court this season. After reaching a milestone and closing in on another, Poling is the subject of this week's OIO Prep Profile. Earlier this season, Poling scored his 1,000th career point as a Commodore. It's a big accomplishment. I've been doing playing basketball my whole life, and then once I got to my freshman year, me and my dad's goal was to get to do my best. And milestones, a thousand points, and that's what we worked for. And it's a big, big accomplishment for me in getting that. I think it's really nice for our program for Jared to get a thousand points. You know, we've had a thousand point score last year and, and a thousand point score this year. But I, you know, I think Jared knows that 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 doesn't happen without his teammates and, and him working hard. You know, in the gym all summer long. While one thousand points is impressive, Jared is now just twenty eight points away from becoming Perry's all time leading scorer. Polling for three. And that's right on the mark for Jared Poling. It's something big. Jimmy Conrad is the one that holds it right now, and he was a great player at Perry. And I hope just to be up there with him is a good accomplishment. Jim Conrad was a very, very good player. We've had a lot of great individual players here at Perry High School. And, and for Jared, you know, just to follow the footsteps of them, I know it means a lot to him. It means a lot to me that I got a chance, you know, to coach him. Personal milestones are great, but Jared is a team guy, and he has helped lead Perry on an 11-game winning streak after starting the season 0-3. Last year, the Commodores lost an OT heartbreaker in the sectional finals. This year, they're focused on an NWCC title and bouncing back with a deep tournament run. Oh, I mean, that's what everybody wants. That's what we work for in practice. I mean, we try hard, play defense, and that's what's going to get us a far run. With his goals in reach and four varsity seasons under his belt, Poling has matured into a leader both on and off the court. Jared, you know, from his first year to his fourth year, he's turned into a complete player for us. I've seen him mature over the years, and he can go inside out, he can post up, he can drive to the basket and shoot the three. And that's a three-pointer for Jared Poling. I mean, we just talk to him and communicate with him, get him doing the right thing, and just lead him the right way. Don't let him stray away, because Tave could be a little scary at times, but you, t you keep them, you keep them on your wing, and they'll be all right. He's very vocal. He's learned that over the years. He wasn't like that, but you know, seeing the seniors and the juniors and the upperclassmen when he was younger, he started to pick that up. And I saw, you know, starting his sophomore year, and now, you know, his junior and senior year, he's been a good leader for us. Jared is still making college plans, and he has a couple of schools showing interest for basketball. Wherever he ends up, he will take with him the lessons he learned while playing at Perry. Oh, just being a family. He, he preaches being together and just not giving up on one another and working hard at all times. In Lima, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.